Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove your fender on a Honda Civic. And unfortunately, to do that, you do need to remove the headlight and the front bumper before we even get to removing the fender. Um, and I already have videos on how to do those. And I will also have a video on how to reinstall this fender or how to put your new fender back on. Um, and so rather than making this video really long, uh, I'll put separate links for each body part, so the bumper, the headlight, how to reinstall. Uh, I'll have those all broken up into different videos, so you can just click on which one you want, and I will have those in the uh, description below. And if your fender is damaged and you're trying to replace it, you can actually get pre-painted fenders off of Amazon. Uh, they're already painted the, your color code to match, so it can basically be a DIY job. You can replace the damaged part all yourself and uh, use my videos to walk you through the entire process on how to do it. Um, so I'll have links to the uh, where you can find the fenders, and then I will have it broken down for each video on how to do each step of the process. All right, so we're going to start out by removing this trim here on the inside of the engine bay. And to do that, we're going to have to remove these three clips right here. We already removed the one down here from when we took the uh, front bumper off. And I'm just going to be using a clip tool to get underneath these and pop them out. And you just want to get underneath there and pry up on it. And these clips, these get pretty grimy and they are easy to break. So just like the other ones, I will also link to these ones if you do break them. Um, sometimes they do, they'll snap off in the hole. If they do, then you just want to take a, um, just get like a small screwdriver or something and you'll put it in the hole and you can just tap down on it and it'll just drive the broken part through and it'll allow you to get this, at least to get this off um, and give you a chance to get this off before you order a new clip. And once we have these off, we're gonna remove this neck. Just pull up on it and just set this to the side. And then you just take this and you just wanna slide it forward. set that to the side and then from here we have this one bolt up top to take out uh, there typically would be another bolt right here but we uh, removed that from when we took the headlight out. I'm gonna remove so this last one right here. And next we're gonna come around to the side of the fender here where the fender liner meets the fender. And up underneath here are plastic clips that hold the fender liner onto the fender. And typically there's four of these style clips that need to come out. And to do that, we're going to use a flathead screwdriver. And you're going to want to pry on one side and wiggle it back and forth like that a little bit. And then just spin the clip around to the other side. And work the clip out. And if you just go back and forth and do it slowly, then typically you can get these out without breaking them. Same thing with this one. And then typically there's one right there, but this one's actually missing. One more right here. And if you do break these and need replacements, I'll also put links to these in the description below. And then we're going to move down to the lower portion of the fender here 
And this this vehicle has a mud guard. Not all of them is going to have a mud guard. Um, so if yours doesn't, you can skip this step. Uh, but we need to take this off too. And there's three Phillips screws right here that need to come out. And to get to them, you can just turn your wheel. Um, turn it depending on what side you're on, but you want to have the part closest to the mud guard. You want to have that uh, swing in. And then just use a stubby screwdriver. Uh, or I'm just going to use a, it's a Phillips bit on a quarter inch socket. Um, and that way I can just get between here. I don't have to deal with mess and moving the wheel or anything. And you can see it's pretty dirty. So these screws are actually pretty grimy and they're kind of full of dirt. So sometimes you just got to wiggle a screwdriver in there to get them cleaned out. And if they're real bad, you can even just use a flathead screwdriver, or like a stubby flathead, and get in there and really get that grime out, or like a pick. And I think I got it out there. And then once you get that last one off, your mud guard should come right off. And typically on these fender liners, there's a clip on the outside here that goes through the fender liner into the fender and then the mud guard screws actually into those clips. Um, but it looks like whoever uh, worked on this last put some, it looks like, looks like some aftermarks and different like aftermarket clips underneath the fender liner. Um, so that's probably not what you're going to encounter. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to the other side, the other fender, and I'll take the mud guard off. And I'll show you how to take the, the actual factory clips uh, out of this. Because um, that's most likely what you're going to encounter unless you come across some aftermarket ones. But uh, let's go ahead and go over there and we'll do that. Alright, so we're here on the other side now. And these are the factory style clips. Uh, you can see that they're still holding the fender liner onto the fender. And that's why we got to take them out um, so we can get that fender off. And how these clips work is there's going to be a tab. Um, there's two tabs on this clip underneath the backside, and it's either going to be on the front and the back of the clip, or it's going to be on the top or the bottom. We don't know how how it's uh, arranged from the factory, but what we're going to do is we're going to start with a really tiny flathead, and we're going to come in um, directly at the clip, trying to push that tab in, and we're going to go between the fender liner and the fender. And while we're doing that, we want to take our other hand and just put a little pressure, just pulling out on the um, fender liner here. And so we're going to push at the tab while putting pressure on it. And usually you'll see, feel a little uh, bit give like it just did. And that usually means so that that usually means that one's on the front and then one's on the back. Now to get around to the back side, we're going to use a pick tool that kind of wraps around so that way we can go around the back of the clip and then pull at the tab. So we're, again, we're going to go between, like holding out on the fender liner, don't, don't let it down because it might clip back in. We're going to go between the fender liner and the fender and come around the back side of this clip. And we're going to pull until you hear it give. And these clips are pretty junky. They they tip, they break a lot of times. Um, sometimes you can save them, but uh, yeah, a lot of times they just break. So we'll see here if we got this one. And then sometimes once you even though you got the tab, you kind of got to help it out a little bit. So that's what it looks like and yeah these see these clips are pretty old and both of those tabs there's one right there and one right there they both busted out um, so again I'll put replacement uh, link in the description below where you can get these um, it, it was always a bad design even from the get-go but now that these clips are getting older um, they typically break really easy now and this one is this one's kind of feeling like it's uh, it's going to be top and bottom. So we'll come from 
top. And it just gave, so now I'm going to hold out on the fender liner with my other hand. And come from the bottom. Actually, I think we saved them on that one, but they're, they're still kind of pushed in. Or I'll still probably replace this one. And then this one here on the bottom of the fender, it's going to be nearly impossible for me to show you um, what I'm doing on this one because it gets so tight down in there. But basically, the fender goes over and then rolls down and then clips down below. That little lip so I can't really show you guys what I'm doing but you, you just basically have to try to look over top of where the fender rolls down and look for the tabs uh, which way they're uh, arranged and then just use whatever you can the flathead or the pick tool uh, while putting some pressure out and just push on those tabs to try to get that to pop out uh, this one's pretty tricky um, but I'm not gonna be able to show you just because of the way how tight it is and if I get my hand in there it's just gonna block the, the camera um, but you get the general idea from these other two clips. Next, you want to peel back this fender liner. And sometimes you can push it back and you can get it to stick right here on the tire. And it kind of holds it out of the way there. And there's a clip right there. It's just like the fender clips that were up here that we took out. And we're going to want to remove that. Same way, using a flathead. Spin it. And what that does is that removes the clip that holds. There's a back uh, plastic baffling that when we take the fender off, it's going to come off with it. And then when you go to put the fender back on, um, you're going to install it on the fender before it goes back onto the car. And uh, you'll, you'll see it later when I show you when I take the fender off. So next, we're going to go underneath the end of the fender here. And there's another bolt here, so you need to take a 10 millimeter socket to remove this. Um, if your bolt's covered in um, undercoating and you can't really get a socket over top of it, um, you see all this textured stuff here, that's the undercoating. Sometimes it's all over this bolt and you can't get to it. Just take a flathead and you can kind of scrape away some of the undercoating. This one's not too bad, um, but you can scrape it away with the flathead so you can get your socket on top of your bolt here. Next, open up your door, and on the inside of the jam here is another bolt. So use a 10 millimeter wrench to remove this one. And then once you get the bolt out, Go ahead and take a uh, flathead screwdriver, or I'm just going to use my uh, plastic pry tool so I don't scratch anything. But we're just going to pry up on this tab a little bit. This uh, tab, they use some sort of uh, e-coat or black adhesive in behind there. And when you go to take the fender off, this tab, it always wants to kind of stick. And uh, that'll help it keep us from having to uh, yank on the fender uh, or having to slip because this is sticking. So we're just going to get up in behind there and just pop that loose. And you can see when I popped it loose, the whole fender just kind of moved, kind of came loose. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and get that loose. You don't have to, but it's it's going to help us when we go to take the fender off. And next, we're going to come to next we're going to come to the top of the fender here by the windshield and the wiper arm, and we're going to pry back on this molding right here. And I'm just going to use a plastic pry tool to pry this out of the way. Uh, you can probably use uh, whatever you want, like a piece of wood or something, or just use your hand. Uh, if you're going to use like a screwdriver or something, just be super careful. You don't want to scratch your paint uh, or mess up your molding. But we're just going to push this back. And you have this little tab right here that loops underneath your fender. And then that also goes underneath your fender. So you just want to kind of push it down and then pull it back. And then I'm going to use this to hold it back. And then you can see down in there is that bolt right there. So I'm going to hold this back 
And then again, just use a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, now the whole top side of our fender is loose, and we just got one more bolt to take out. And that last bolt is up front here by where the headlight was that we took out. And we're going to go ahead and take this bolt out. And you do want to take note, if you're replacing the fender because it was in a wreck or it was damaged, um, it's very typical for this bracket to possibly be damaged. This one right here, and then also this bumper spacer to be damaged. You just want to double check and make sure, because if this is all bent up, um, when you go to put your fender on, it's not going to seat properly. And when you go to fit your headlight and your bumper up, um, nothing's going to fit up here. So there's a lot of things going together up here. Um, so it's very important that you check both of these to uh, make sure that neither of them are damaged uh, from the accident. And again, I'll link to both those pieces uh, down in the description below. And now the fender is ready to come off. So you just want to grab a hold of it with both hands and just pick up on it. And just be careful with this tab and this door. You don't want to scratch the door. And you just want to kind of lower it. And sometimes this bottom part will stick on there where the uh, undercoating is. And you just got to wiggle it to get it off. Uh, but that's it, guys. That's how you remove the fender. And again, if you were going to install a new fender, I'm going to post uh, the video in the description below on installing uh, the fender and then lining up all the gaps and everything. Uh, but that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.